Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel Narrated by Simon Slater The author begins with the following quotation from Vitruvius De Architectura on the theatre, 27 BC. There are three kinds of scenes, one called the tragic, second the comic, third the satiric. Their decorations are different and unlike each other in scheme. Tragic scenes are delineated with columns, pediments, statues, and other objects suited to kings. Comic scenes exhibit private dwellings with balconies and views representing rows of windows after the manner of ordinary dwellings. Satiric scenes are decorated with trees, caverns, mountains, and other rustic objects delineated in landscape style. And with the following from John Skelton's Magnificence and Interlude, 1520. These be the names of the players. Felicity, Liberty, Measure, Magnificence, Fancy, Counterfeit Countenance, Crafty Conveyance, Cloaked Collusion, Courtly Abusion, Folly, Adversity, Poverty, Despair, Mischief. Good hope, redress, circumspection, perseverance. And now, Wolf Hall. Part One. Chapter One. Across the Narrow Sea. Putney, 1500. So now get up. Felled, dazed, silent, he has fallen. Knocked full length on the cobbles of the yard, his head turned sideways, his eyes are turned towards the gate, as if someone might arrive to help him out. One blow properly placed could kill him now. Blood from the gash on his head, which was his father's first effort, is trickling across his face. Add to this, his left eye is blinded. But if he squints sideways... With his right eye he can see that the stitching of his father's boot is unravelling. The twine has sprung clear of the leather, and a hard knot in it has caught his eyebrow and opened another cut. So now get up! Walter is roaring down at him, working out where to kick him next. He lifts his head an inch or two and moves forward on his belly, trying to do it without exposing his hands, on which Walter enjoys stamping. What are you, an eel? his parent asks. He trots backwards. Sample complete. Ready to continue?